Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. Then the negative a times b is equal to a times the negative of b, which is equal to the negative of a times b. Okay, now in proving this theorem, we are going to rely on some facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers. The first is, for every real number x, the negative of x is equal to negative 1 times x. And the second is just the commutative and associative laws whenever we see them necessary to include in our proof. Okay, so now let's get into proving the theorem. And to start out the proof, let's give ourselves two real numbers, a and b. And our goal with these two real numbers is to prove that this is true. We're first going to establish that these two are equal. And after that, we're going to establish that these two are equal. And if we do that, well, all three will be equal to each other. Let's start by showing that these two are equal. And to do that, we're going to establish a chain of equalities. Let me start out by writing negative a times b. Now, we know from fact number one that the negative of a is equal to negative 1 times a. So we can replace negative of a with negative 1 times a. And now, using the commutative law, we're going to swap the negative 1 and a around. Right, and then we can use the associative law to move the outermost parentheses around the negative 1 and the b. And we know from fact number 1 that negative 1 times b is equal to the negative of b. So as you can see, through this chain of equalities, we have shown that these two are equal. Now we're going to show that these two are equal. And again, to do that, we're going to establish a chain of equalities. And so let me start out by writing negative a times b. Just like how we wrote above, the negative of a times b is equal to what we have here. But now, what we can do here is we can use the associative law to move the parentheses around the a and b. So at this point, we can apply fact number one again. Remember, we have that this statement works for every real number x. So since it works for every real number, it must work for the real number a times b. So if we take x and substitute it with a times b, well, we have that the negative of a times b is equal to negative 1 times a times b. Right, so this is just substituting x for a times b. So really we can say that this is equal to this. And so as we can see, through this chain of equalities, we have that these two are equal. So, putting this all together, we've shown that these two are equal and these two are equal. Therefore, all three must be equal to each other. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.